Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the National Osteopathic Medicine Week 2019. My name is Al Hussein Yassin. I'm currently a first year medical student here at PCOM Philadelphia. Today, I'll be taking you on a tour of our campus. We'll be talking to some physicians and hopefully some students. Uh, so I think it'll be a great day and a great week. Uh, if at any time you have any questions uh, about anything that I say or anything that you would like me to talk about, uh, please feel free to reach out. Uh, I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, so we have a really awesome lineup of students and physicians uh, throughout the week that are going to be taking over the PCOM page. So make sure to stay tuned and I think it'll be a great week. All right, bye for now. Not only is PCOM holistic with its medicine its students, it's actually holistic with the environment. I have solar panels on them that'll open up and collect sunlight, turn it into energy, and I think that's really cool and um, very holistic also. Right now we're on the roof of the activity center, which I actually didn't know existed until a couple months ago when we got a mock tour with our ambassadors program. It has the best view of the Look at it. Really, really cool. I'm a sucker for skylines being from Pittsburgh, so this is great is actually a basketball court um, that they are uh, preparing for the summer uh, semester so that students can come up play they have tables over here so that can, students can just hang out get some quality sun uh, vitamin D is always welcomed so if you don't know what OMM is OMM is osteopathic manipulative medicine which at its cornerstone is attempting to harness the body's natural ability to heal itself through different positionings and alignments it can be used in a wide variety of settings and uh, with different patient populations and it really helps here at PCOM have a wide variety of opportunities to get involved in research. Um, professors are really receptive to them joining the lab if they have availability. If not, they'll help them find a lab. Um, tomorrow, Vig Nesh, who's a DO PhD candidate, will be taking over the IG page, so I'm sure he'll have more to say about that. So regarding research, there's a lot of great resources that students have here at their disposal. The library actually has a research series where they'll do different presentations on how to find funding, um, how to publish, um, how to make a survey, um, and the like. My IDO is because I wanted to enter into a field that emphasized treating the patient instead of treating the symptoms. In addition, I wanted to gain an extra tool in my tool belt in OMM that would allow me to better serve my future patients. So right now we are uh, in the OMM practice room, which is right outside of our OMM lab. Um, so students who uh, practice before our practicals, um, we come also uh, to do manipulations on each other sometimes. Um, Suboccipital release is the best after a long day of studying, trust me. So why IDO? Prior to coming to the medical school at PCOM, I worked as a dietitian. So I was trained to look at the whole body and I felt that PCOM and osteopathic medicine in general aligns with that philosophy of looking at the... So why I DO? I decided to go DO, to go to DO school because it gave me an extra tool um, in terms of using my hands and osteopathic manipulative therapy to help my patients in more ways than just writing prescriptions. Why osteopathic medicine? For me personally, it was an easy choice. My family doctor was an osteopathic physician. So in many cases, I grew up with osteopathic medicine. But now that I've lived with osteopathic medicine as an administrator and a practitioner for almost 40 years, uh, I value the professions so well. It is the profession of the future. It's a profession that trains the doctors that society wants. And I believe what the added value of osteopathic medicine goes from manipulation to our holistic approach to patient care. It's what the future physician should look like. So that's a great question. Uh, so I applied the osteopathic philosophy in these kind of situations by reminding myself of the first tenet of osteopathic medicine, which is that the human is made of the mind, the body, and the spirit, and that these are all integrated into one unit, and that rational treatment is based off of that understanding. Right now, I'm in Zedek Hall. Uh, this is hall for the second year students. There's no second year students in here right now because they're all off studying for their boards that they're all gonna do great on. Us is Ginsburg Hall, and that's where the M1s get their lectures. I'm very happy to report that I love being a DO. In my career as a primary care physician, I have found my DO training like an extra tool in my black bag, whether it was using manipulative medicine or just the concepts of osteopathic medicine.
All right, everyone, so that about wraps it up for me. Um, I hope that you uh, enjoyed the day. Before I go, I just want to remind you guys that you are all so powerful, that you can do amazing things, um, that whatever obstacles in your way, that it can be overcome. Find people that support you, support them, grow together, um, continue to relentlessly chase your dreams. You can do amazing things. I hope today was really informative for you. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and have a great rest of the non-week. I'm excited for the week. All right, take care. Bye.